Today I'm going to be going over the slow motion effect that you guys see in a lot of my videos as it was requested by absolutely nobody but my boy just wanted to see how I did it so I figured I'd just make a tutorial for the YouTube you know what I mean so without further ado let's get it. Alright so the first thing you're going to want to do is import your desired clip like so since it's 4x3 I'm just going to add my nice 4x3 stretch preset. They can get in the link down in the description below you know what I'm saying you can really check that out if you really in the stretch you're going to want to go to where you have your kill in this case it's around here like so now what you want to do is using your arrow keys just go frame by frame to where it, the kill initially first pops up so it's right here then once that is set just right click at the edge here go to time remapping and go to speed now this ramp is going to come up now you should drag this all the way well not all the way but somewhat out so you can see what you're working with then what you're going to do is you're going to want to hold control and click right here and then drag this down to whatever percentage that you would desire and how slow you want to put it. For me, I usually keep around between 20 and 25 for these short kills. So I'm gonna just keep it to 25 and we're gonna play it back and we're gonna see how it looks. And there it's slow-mo, just like so. If you don't want to make it this harsh cut and it looks kind of rough, you're gonna to want to create a ramp for it. So what you want to do is just click on the right side of this and just drag it over easily like so. And then that is gonna create a nice little yep. Just like that. If you guys want to make it even smoother, I suggest that you guys create a nice little curve on the ramp just to make it a little more seamless, just like so. That's perfect. Now, if you want to bounce right back up to the normal speed, so say you just want to, you know, speed it back up after this kill right here for a few seconds or a second and a half, just go back right here and just bump this thing back up. Doing the same thing that you did with the first speed ramp, just put it back to 100, create another ramp by dragging it over another curve and then playing it back and it speeds itself right back up just like that very simple very easy and very effective and attractive if you know how to do it right now i know you guys seeing that it's kind of choppy and it doesn't look as smooth as you normally see in my videos or other people's edits and whatnot now in order for you to do it like that you're gonna have to right click on the clip go to time interpolation and go to optical flow like this boom it's still gonna look the same for you and you're not gonna notice any difference in order for you to know the difference you're gonna have to render it out so i'm gonna render out just this portion right here by clicking i and o on the ramp itself go into sequence and go to render into out it's gonna take a couple seconds now look at this baby bottom smooth seamless slow-mo that you have right here and that's what you just created right there it's that simple and that easy you can do a lot of different variations of the speed ramping and slow-mo ton of inspiration just by looking at these videos on youtube to be honest with you and that's all if you guys want more tutorials like this let me know down in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next video peace